half mile behind me is the entrance to Serpentine Gorge. The problem is the tourist trail that leads there, it has to stop abruptly at the entrance due to permanent deep waters. So today I'm gonna attempt to climb over this mountain range and then down to the other side and then explore the mysterious and unknown backside of Serpentine Gorge. almost made the mistake of walking right into this big daddy's nest. Back at the car park, climbing up and over the mountain real quick, didn't seem like a big deal. But now that I'm halfway up, seems like a big deal. <laughs> so I did make it to the top of the first mountain, and now I gotta ease down into the valley below. So I just ran into a little problem. I'd call it a 300 foot cliff. So based on that drone footage, I think there's a way down off of this cliff. About a quarter to a half a mile that way. If not, I'll be heading back to the car. This is definitely the biggest termite hill I've seen so far. This baby's a good six foot. So I've made it down into the valley and on both sides of me, there's just huge ranges of this heavy tree quartzite red stone. And it was this little valley behind me where I managed to pick my way down here. Now, this rock is a beautiful example of fossilized ripples. So after making my way about a half a mile upstream, I found this permanent water hole surrounded by water plants. It's got some small fish and a cool rock chasm. Seven hours since I started this hike. Car is only 10 minutes away. Time to head home. 